Hi Taurus, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to your reading. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading and will not resonate for everyone. Okay, for Taurus, please. What message for Taurus? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups here in the reverse. So this is a card of return. Someone wants to return to you here. They're detaching from, you know, uh, people, places, whatever, you know, wherever this person is, they're not happy. They're detaching and they're coming towards you because, you know, detaching from the Eight of Cups to go towards the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. And they feel that you are the wish fulfillment, okay? So they could have been with someone else, okay? They were not happy with that, with that other person. They were not fulfilled. There was no love. Yeah, someone just wants to get out of a place of unhappiness here. Let's see. What message for Taurus, please? What message for Taurus? The hangman in the reverse. Someone has been enlightened. Okay, some sort of awakening here. They could have realized, you know... That they're not happy. Things could have been, you know, they could have been in this sort of energy, stuck, okay? Not doing anything. And they just came out of it. And they realize that they have to take action here. They can't, you know, they don't want to be stuck somewhere where there's, there's no happiness. Let's see. Why is the hangman in the reverse? Why is the hangman in the reverse? the seven of wands so they want to fight for you they want to fight for this connection seem very determined here let's see why is the seven of wands here why is the seven of wands here the three of pentacles so they want to come towards you okay they want to work things out with you okay they want to fix this connection uh, they want for you to meet them halfway, okay? So find some sort of resolution, compromise. Yeah, they're they're very determined here. Let's see. What message, please, for Taurus? What message for Taurus? The Ten of Wands. So whatever period, okay, of hardship between you two, difficult period, obstacles, you know, uh, challenges, so they want to overcome that. They just want to release that. Tens are about completion. So they just want to release, you know, burdens and, and you know, challenges here. Okay. It's very hard, but they want to overcome it. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Five of uh one so yeah there could be conflicts here okay they just want to overcome these conflicts okay these challenges so if there are conflicts they want for you to you know to get together and try to work things out here okay why is the five of wands here why is the five of wands here the seven of cups in the reverse so yeah they're releasing if there were options they're releasing options here they're detaching okay could have been competition here as well and they're releasing that okay they just want don't want to you know deal with that anymore uh yeah they just want to focus on you now okay they want to focus on you and they want to focus on this connection and they want to work things out with you okay so let's see for taurus please a message for taurus the seven of pentacles in the reverse again it's another card of return wherever they are whoever they have been with you know they were not satisfied they were not happy this is like a bad investment so wh whoever you know they invested in it was it was a bad mistake okay 
and now they want to come back and invest and fight for the, for your connection the connection that you have with them why is the seven of pentacles in the reverse why is the seven of pentacles in the reverse the high priestess someone is following their intuition now okay their intuition is telling them to you know follow their heart follow their heart's desire go within you know what it is that they really want okay so they're following their intuition and and you know they're realizing they they realize that they you were the one for them okay let's see why is the high priestess this could also talk about secret emotions as well repressed emotions so they have a lot of love for you but they're they're not expressing it why is the high priestess here the queen of cups cancer scorpio or pisces so yeah this is someone has a lot of love for you okay uh but i feel this is you okay this is them coming back to you because they're very uh, loving you know they see you as a very good partner so they want to work things out with you you're very nurturing very compassionate okay and yeah so they're they're listening to to their intuition here okay let's see what message please for taurus the world in the reverse so there's unfinished business here they're not able to move on from you so if they were with someone else they were still thinking about you they were still you know holding on to your energy here if you were not you know uh if you're at a distance okay why is the world in the reverse why is the world in the reverse the nine of swords so there's guilt here okay could be guilt about to a party here okay about what they did about investing in someone else that was not worth it okay instead of investing in your connection so guilt remorse they're stuck with them okay they will get out of that place because they will follow their hearts here, their their intuition, but you know, they're they're stuck here with the guilt still of you know of what they did. Why is the nine of swords here in the reverse? Why is the nine of swords in the reverse? The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this could be you, could be your person. But um, this is someone who wants to take action towards you here, okay? So if this is you, this they see, you know, someone very confident. They see a lot of potential with you. Someone's very beautiful, you know, uh, very energetic. Yeah, they see your value, your worth. If this is your person, they just want to take action towards you here. What message, please, for Taurus? The Two of Cups in the reverse. So, you know, it just confirms the separation, okay, breakup, but the love is still here. You know, there's unfinished business here. And I feel that the, the feelings are mutual. Why is the Two of Cups in the reverse, please? Why is the Two of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Two of Cups in the reverse? the justice card they want to make things right so they want to balance things out they want to fight for this okay could we do with a libra so this is up to you right because they're coming taurus so what it is that you want you trust them okay why is the justice card here why is the justice card here the six of swords in the reverse another card of return so they want to end this conflict they want to find a resolution they want to end this period of hardship okay between you two they want to come towards calmer waters make peace and conflict so yeah and what they want to make things right here yeah they really want to fix this connection here what message please for taurus what message for taurus the Knight of Cups. So they're coming. Do you accept this offer of love here? Do you trust it? Yeah. They're coming, Taurus. They have a lot of love for you here. Okay. I think they realize they messed up in the past. 
Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Emperor. So someone's going to act like an Emperor here. The Emperor is all about stability. Okay. The Emperor wants commitment. He's a very good partner. Could be deal with an Aries. But yeah. They're very stressed out here about coming towards you though. With this Nine of Swords. About, you know, coming uh, towards you with this offer. They're very stressed out here. They might fear rejection from you. They might fear that you don't trust them. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? The death card. So, this talks about uh, transformation, okay? This talks about the ending. Uh, they could have ended things with a Scorpio, but the ending of options. It's, it's an ending of a cycle, okay? It's not... It's, it's not, well, it could have been the ending of this connection, but, you know, this is not past energy. I think this is present energy. It just talks about transforming this connection, okay? Letting go of what no longer serves you. Letting go of things that prevent this connection from coming together, and that's releasing options, okay? So, uh, and yeah, they're going to release these other cups and focus on one cup, which... And they're going to give it to you, right? This cup, the only, you know, the only cup is for you. And yeah, so it talks about a transformation here. So letting go of the old, letting go of did not work out, what did not work out in the past and start new, a new cycle, okay? Transforming the connection, entering a new cycle and rebuilding a new connection here, okay? And starting something better, but it's still... Um, up to you okay if you do want the same thing because they definitely they're very determined here to come towards you so that's it taurus so i hope it resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading take care